Discreet. Oh, well, tell it like it is, girl, or I'll tell it for you. All right. I was scared, just a bit, but it's, well, it's like when you're going up the ramp of a roller coaster. 
and your heart starts thumping. But deep down, you know it's got to be safe. They wouldn't allow it if it wasn't safe. So what happened when you went in then? Well, oh God, the yeah. other. It's 25 for a straight, 30 for a foot massage, 35 for a hand job, 40 reverse massage, 45 oral, 50 for full service, 55 for anal, and after that, you only shout. You charge again every time they come. We've got some costumes and bondage stuff, but we don't get a lot of specials here. Half of what you earn always goes back to the desk. You be with a client about 20 minutes, half hour max. After that, I bang on the door, right? Hi. Uh, uh, with four rooms, five. three downstairs, two cabins and the VIP, and another cabin with four for wheelchairs. Uh, there's oil, tap and towels in the cupboard under the stairs. We go easy with you on your VIP. It's a bucket to get off the nose. <laughs> they can book by here for an hour. They don't often stay the distance, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Oh, and house rules. No drink or drugs on the premises. And if you miss two shifts in a row, you're out, right? Yeah. Call me Fee. Fee? I haven't done this before. I know. But it's not a big deal. Once you've done your first, you'll wonder what the fuss was about. Trust me, this is a good place. The houses are always safest. Yeah. Do you fancy a gym? It's a bit of special occasions. Okay. Well, let me get yourself into a park there. Let's have a little chat. You following it so far? Yeah? Seems pretty straightforward. All right. Here. <coughs> yeah. How much for a reverse massage then? See, you weren't listening, was you? <laughs> well, let me summarise. Okay. For 20 minutes full service, half an hour max, you get 25 quid. For fucking a guy, lights on, clothes off, warts and all. Hands up if that sounds like a lot of money. Any takers? Well, to some unfortunate people, that's a shitload of money. It's rather better than the alley rate at McDonald's. And you deal with fewer ourselves, so to speak. <laughs> <laughs> On the beat, it gets better still. You get 30 quid for a 10 minute hand job. Still, passes for courses. Least if you work indoors, you get to wash your hands. Right, back to Irma's first day at school. You want to work, get a sod in a childminder. I'm not coming home. Jules, I'm not. You have to plan these things. You can't just. Oi! Oi! Well, fuck you too. Trouble. Chris? Cheesy flavour. Get them away from me or I'll choke. I'll over over here. Have one. I mean it, I will. Oh, fuck off, fuck off! This is the girls' room. Settle down, girls. This is Diva and Yasmin. Hiya. Hello. Basically, you wait in here. When a client comes in, I call you through to the lounge and he takes his pick. <clears throat> That's the door. D, it'll be John. What? He's booked in for half ten. <gasps> John, what? Why don't you just come so early? Ooh, come so early, just here. Shut up. Get a move. <coughs> Cabin one. Do you mind me here? Tell me she can see. Ta da. John. Oh. Got to look your best for Prince Charming, eh? You're only jealous. Yeah, right. Oh, cheesy flavour. <laughs> yes. Think for your mind if I get a squirt of her scent. A good one. Yeah, she'll kill you. Solid. How do I look? Lovely. Right, so.
night two, goes with Yasmin, you're having two. Fiona phones the laundry to find out why today's towels haven't arrived yet. How clean towels haven't arrived yet? Yasmin comes up, <laughs> puts the money in the cash box, goes back down. Clyde Free comes in, as is nobody free. He wakes in the lounge. Dee finishes with John. Ain't that cute? She collects Clyde Free from the lounge and takes him down to cabin one. The phone rings. No, no sorry, we don't do it. Well, as it goes quiet for a moment, she slips in the personal phone call to her husband, Frankie. Hi, Frankie. Dee finishes hers in 15 minutes, comes back to the door. The phone rings. It's a bucket. Dee goes to make everyone a coffee, because she's nice like that. And, as it's been half an hour, Fiona goes to Yasmin's cabin and knocks on the door. The doorbell goes. It's time for Mr. Ray. He walks in, goes for a sauna. <coughs> and Fiona goes to check up on Irma. All in the first three quarters of an hour. Party party. Oh, don't worry, dear. It's not always like this. It's like buses. Nothing for hours and three come at once. <laughs> Do you want a bag? <laughs> well, I expect I'll be seeing you again then, Jasmine. That's Yasmin, with a Y. Yasmin. Hello then. Hey, wait up. You owe me, mate. Oh, but I've already paid you. Uh, yeah, full service is 50. I'll write a tip. Uh, not a tip, my fee. You had the full Monty twice, that's another 50. Yeah, but look at Ricardo. No buts, mate, that's the deal. House rules. Look, you have a full hour. I did everything you asked, I worked damn hard too. Yeah, I don't dispute that. I'm just saying I do that... expect all of that for 50 quid. I don't do this for my own pleasure, you know. Yeah, that's the bloody money. I shouldn't come here again. No, you can only manage the one. Excuse me, can I help? It seems there's been a misunderstanding. Perhaps we'll explain our pricing structure to you. No, no, she didn't. Oh. Well, you were in there for an hour. That counts as two sessions, I'm afraid. But, um, does an additional 25 seem fair to you? Yes, I suppose. Yasmin, give a gentleman his change. Sorry for the inconvenience. We look forward to seeing you again. Yes, thank you very much. He was trying it on. This is a service industry. I told him what it cost. And that means not just good service, 25, but structured price. So fucking insult. And it means respect. Those assholes, why should I respect them, sad fucks? Yes, me. You didn't just cost yourself a client, you nearly cost this sauna a client. I'm not having it. Did he hurt you? No. Was he disrespectful? No. It was I... a misunderstanding, a genuine misunderstanding, so drop it. Drop it! You've got to lose this anger, girl, or you'll lose this place. I mean it. This is a warning. If you can't do it for yourself, then think of little Zoe, eh? Now get yourself together, there's a client in the house. Bitch. Huh? Yasmin, I'm not taking a cut of that 25, you know. It's all yours. So don't call me a bitch. All right. Wow. Fireworks. <laughs> so what do you think of the yours so far, then? <laughs> no, don't answer that. Clark would stay out with his piano to look you in like. It's not all that exciting. Some boring bits coming up soon, trust me. <laughs> well, while all this is go going on, little Irma's sitting pretty waiting for the big boss to come give her an in-depth interview. <coughs> so, Irma, how did it feel? Fine. I felt fine. fine. Oh, really? Look, who's telling this story? You are. I'm just doing a spot of investigative journalism, getting the truth behind the spin line. So tell us, we want it out. How did it feel? I tell you, it was fine. It felt like it wasn't really happening to me, like watching yourself on TV or in a mirror. It didn't seem real. Oh, it was real, all right. Oh, 
Burma, Toby's just caught. He's caught up with the other place and we'll make that little this afternoon. So, you can either go in one of our regulars now, we'll see how we get on, or you can do a double romp with one of the other girls and get to know the ropes. No, no, I'd rather... Oh. You're regular? Mr. Raisin just now. He's nice as they come. Who want to start with? Okay. Are you sure you want to do this? That's what I'm here for. Good girl. Now you've got something to wear? Yeah, I brought some little flat number. Super. You got some condom and KY? You have to provide your own, I'm afraid, but I can then just argue about fine. Super. Get yourself dressed and come to the lounge. Oh, you needn't hurry. It's still in the sauna. Treats this place like his own personal wealth club he does. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she gets right on my tits. She does this job because she gets off on it, I swear. What's wrong with that? And always going on about her wonderful, understanding husband. What a fucking joke. Rather she did this than he had to work. And in my book, that just makes him a pin. Maybe it's better for them this way. He looks after Matthew for her. Christ, is anything I don't know about him? What do you mean, Matthew? Oh, give it a rest, there he has. Fiona's all right. She's fair. She is. You <clears throat> fucked up this morning and she bailed you out. Fuck off. She did. <sighs> anyway, let's not fight about it, eh? You love them for sales? Joe, got them for me. No. Coffee? Fancy coffee? No thanks. You both drink far too much, Captain. I'm gonna fall asleep on a job. Come here! Are you wearing my scent? No. Yeah, I... Sorry, Fee. My good one! You cheeky little cow.
Mind you, there were these dead rabbits in the kitchen. It upset our Zoe a bit. I don't remember any rabbits. That's what she said. Yeah, rabbits all right, I suppose. Apart from the people. Oi, watch it. I'm from here, you know. I'm not <coughs> rabbits. But they're all a bit uptight. <laughs> Too cool, if you know what I mean. It's like, I sometimes wonder where the real people are. How did you two get on? Oh, like a house on fire. <laughs> well, I expect I'll be seeing you again, Emma, <laughs> if I haven't put you off. <laughs> 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 uh, but what is the advice you have, Yes? Don't tell the clients quite so much about yourself. There's some funny sorts out there. Thank you, but I might not have been telling the truth. No, 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 no. Something extra for the cash box. Thank you. Well, bye then. Good luck with the novel. <laughs> I might not have been telling the truth. Too <laughs> fucking right, you lying slack. Thirty pounds for twenty minutes work. Easy money. Maybe you didn't see that great scary ad nectar belly. I thought you hated scars. He was polite and he was gentle. Too right, Miss Jen. He had a chest like a zip up garden. It was all right. He was an old man, Earlock. You fucked an old man, please spend your money, a slapper. God, she thinks she's Mother Teresa. Some people, eh? So, what do you think of it? Having a good time? Getting your value for money? Well, that's an interesting bit, pretty much over with. <laughs> He's right. After the first one, you wonder what all the fuss was about. You get over it. Get on with it, or at least most people do. Still in one piece? Oh, several, but most of them still work. You're going to stick it out? I think so. Is it what you expect? Sort of. One satisfied customer. <laughs> Good. How do you feel? Really? Oh yeah. It's just your stupid bugger. 
Mm -hmm. Sprinkle salt's in mm -hmm. here. And only one salt comes in here. Can't say that, yes. That's like saying there's only one type of working girl. Look at the four of us. Mm. We're looking and listening. And you think sex industry is cameras? Or CD? Or about money? Or power? Or women's rights? Or some such shit? No. Most of the time it's just a bunch of women sitting around gabbing and getting on each other's nerves. Most of the time it's bananas book. A tin of tomatoes, green chilies, red peppers, <laughs> onions and raisin steak. Hour in the oven. Beautiful it was. Beautiful. Jules likes a good chilli. Sounds lovely. It's amazing what you can do with raisin steak if you know what you're doing. <laughs> Little Sally likes chilies too. Yeah, she eats out. You're lucky. My Matthew won't eat anything all mushed up like that. <laughs> He's a bit too veg man. <laughs> Like his father. <laughs> <laughs> the time passes. And Irma's piggy bank gets slowly fatter. And the job seems more and more real. And it's got these really thin little straps, but with the underwiring, so you've got the support. You need all the support you can get. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Sounds lovely. And it's white. You look great under the UVs and the VIP. Go on, get it. How much is it? spend that much in a night out. At least you'd have something to show for it, eh? Yeah, but does it wash? <laughs> There's no point when you're dry keeping only in here. And time passes. And maybe she gets to know the others just a bit better. Of course I've been to the doctors. He just gives me painkillers. I won't take them. Then you can stop doing change. They send me to sleep. Oh, I wish. Oh, well, maybe you can get some different Oh, I suppose so. <laughs> <laughs> well, come on then, I can take it in. <laughs> Tea is such a sap. <laughs> Thanks, Dee. You're a sweetie. Ah! Oh, my God, your hands are cold. Oh, stop moaning. Oh, you should get Irma to do it. She's the masseuse. <laughs> Very funny. Ah, um, I think I found the problem. Ah! Oh, careful! Trust me, I'm a professional. <laughs> And time passes. <coughs> a week, a fortnight, a month. Seen enough yet? Bored? Do you know, we should do just one more to prove the point. Alive somehow. 
I don't know what you did for a living, but you always smell to the summer. Then there was the computer programmer. He was painfully shy until by chance we started talking about films. He became a different person. After that, each time he came back, we had a different film thing. I thought our version of Jaws was particularly imaginative. I liked these people. I was pleased to see them. And, and then there were those that just seemed grateful that someone could love their aging bodies. People's bodies became pretty irrelevant. Unless it was a rugby player. It was how they treated you that mattered. And what about the others? Get a good connection there. Make friends with the great unwashed. The weirdos, the bullies, the perverts and the psychos. I didn't meet anyone like that. Not even one? No. Will you stop trying to dig the dirt, Julie? I'm trying to help you, you ungrateful moon. Like hell! You just twist everything, I say. I'll just reflect you back to yourself. Scars, warts, airy toes and all. What's the problem, Emma? Do you not like what you see, Emma? I don't have a problem. And I don't need your help. All right. <coughs> Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. It's all right. Anger is part of the healing process. God, I can't help myself, though. She's so easy to wind up. Anyway, time for a commercial break from Towns Incorporated. Stay tuned. John. Hello, last too. Out to lunch. In fact, all the girls are busy just now. We'll have to have the receptionist. to which I'm accustomed, darling. Maybe I'll think about it. Welcome back. See? A connection. Very sweet. But it's not all love or rape at gunpoint. I never said it was. But it's a damn sight more interesting than you make it look. I'm trying to show it like it is. It's a job. Highs and lows. The odd office romance. <coughs> Just because it did your head in. Will you stop saying that?
Maybe we should do some research, some investigative journalism, some interviews. All right, who should we start with? Dee. Diva, come over here a moment. John. <laughs> if I wanted to be Napoleon, now's your chance. Something bothering you, pal. Look, love. If you're not comfortable with this, just take your money and go. It's all right with us. You had a good week. Can't complain. It's always like that. First week, you never off your back, everyone after the new girl. Then it goes slack. Yeah, but then you've got to be regulars and it picks up. Good. Matthew's got his half term next week, so I'll be off. Deal to the desk, will you? Tony will be in every night to get the money. Well, that'd be nice. Shut up. What 
did you just say? Shut the fuck up, I don't want to hear your crap. No one is making you listen. You're completely free to leave. Don't talk to me, you're just stupid fucking whores. Oh, fuck you. What you come in here for anyway, holy fucking communion? Get out. Yasmin. Majesty, that's stupid little slut. I can have you, no fucking worry. Come on, man. Yasmin, sit down. And you, sit down. I said, sit down. Just horse. Is that all you see? That's all you want to see. That's probably how you see all women. The ones who let you fuck them, whores, and the ones who don't, bitches. Well, let me introduce you to the whores. This is Fiona. Fiona has a husband who loves and supports her, and a little boy she adores. Do you love anyone? Does anyone love you? No. Not very likely, is it? And this is Diva. Wait for the nice man, Dee Dee. Diva is a very talented singer-songwriter. She's working hard to make it. One day she's going to have her name in lights. Diva. Can you sing? Got a little party piece you want to show us? No? Didn't think so. And this is Yasmin. The one you were going to hit. Real brave, that was. Yasmin is doing this so her little girl can have a decent life. Go to a good school and so she can spend the holidays with her. Have you ever sacrificed anything for anyone? Have you? And I'm, um, I'm more intelligent than you. I've got more friends than you. I'm happier than you. In fact, I'm stronger than you in every way. Just pause. No. That's just what we do, not the sum of what we are. And if you continue to pass judgment on people and pour so much energy into hating what you won't understand, you're going to have pretty pitiful existence. Yes. Now get out. Fuck you. Bro. No. I don't think we will. Not if you paid us. <laughs> <laughs> Bitches. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck all of you. That was wicked. Fucking respect, man. Look on his face. <laughs> Is he gone? With his tail between his legs. Well done, Irma. That was super. And you get the door money. Huh? So I think our time eases on him. Yeah. <laughs> old it, old it, Cole. Oh, that was pure bollocks. In your dreams, pal, you never said that. It never happened. I did. I did too. Black hell. Well, maybe not to his face. But at home, later in the bath, I said it to myself. <laughs> but it made me feel better. <laughs> Perfecting. And you call this investigative journalism? It's not even believable bollocks. As I remember, it went like this. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> he said... Don't talk to me, you're just stupid God. fucking whores. And then Yasmin said, what are you coming here for, for mate? Holy communion, get out of here. Well, if I have to. Pause, you just can pause. We all will. Won't we, girls? You're not welcome here, young man. I suggest you leave. And take your attitude with you. Bitches. Fuck you! And, uh, Fuck all of you! Jesus. Why, the answer? Can you believe that? Right the fuck up. Forget him, it's his problem. Is he gone? Yeah. Well done, girls. And you left the door, money. Like him, 
blunder out of a bar and chuck up against the church. The taxi driver said, I'm glad I'm disgusted, pigs will be my nose, bitch. I could have been better myself. <laughs> Still bothers me. I don't think his behaviour bothers you as much as yours. Don't give yourself such a hard time. You didn't know what to do, so you did nothing. That's okay. Is it? It's not such a big deal. You don't think about it too much. Tell you what, let's lighten the mood a bit. Let's do the weirdest request for aid. How about that? You're on. Hold on a minute. This lot look a bit restless to me. <laughs> Modern audiences nowadays just don't have the attention span. I have to give them a car change on a sex scene every 15 minutes or they'll fall asleep. You know. <laughs> I tell you what, she'll send them out to the bath and breathe her. Yeah? All right? Ladies and gentlemen, the interval. <laughs> Scheme, bungee jumping, anything. After, I do a thing. Well, I guess you just stop being so reckless, don't you? I guess. Look, the, the accelerated free fall course is only four sessions. Then you do the jump, like this. Stand up. Mm. Like this. Someone next to you all the way. You don't even have to pull the cord, just jump out the plane. Whoa! <coughs> Magic! And you're safe all the way, believe me. If I booked it, you'd get a members discount, because I'm an ex squaddy, you know. Cheers, but no thanks. I've got to have sex instead then. How much for straight sex? Probably twice. A hundred pounds. <coughs> Sorry, no members discount here. It's fine, let's go. Yes, I thought it was a bit fair to warn you. You see, my wife and I, we do try it sometimes, but I can tell it hurts her. I don't like to hurt her, it's not a leg. Yeah, yeah. With. It's impressive. Oh, it's practically deformity. Oh, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> yes. I'll give you a hundred. You could. Yeah, if I'm on top. Yes, yes whatever. Uh, and you mustn't thrust. thrust. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, and if it gets too much, we'll find another, another way. way. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, it's okay. I like a challenge. Shall we go? <laughs> oh, did you see that? Yeah, it was like one of them fish, flat fish. A, pla a place. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do Fiona. She must have some stories. No, I've had enough of this. I want to see Mr. Average. <laughs> Mr. Average. Oh no, rural Sussex. I wouldn't want to get in Brighton, it's far too violent. <laughs> <laughs> you do hear some stories. Oh, but it's not that bad. Especially if it was in the 80s. Oh no, no, I'm sure, I'm sure. It just it puts you off a bit, doesn't it? I mean, I only come in here once a month for the shopping. I bring the wife and the book with the parking and traffic and everything else. You can't go to Horsham. <laughs> You'd rather come here. Well, exactly, my dear. You hit the nail right on the head. Well, if I'm going to make most of my time, I'm supposed to pick her up at 12 at the multi story. Can I choose you, my dear? Sorry, love. Management. Yeah. Make sure you get someone special. <laughs> Mr. Average. Airy toes. Optional. See, so we get the balance here. Alright. So, what should we do next? How about. The license inspection. 
Oh, good idea. Give them a bit of background. A few facts at last. Here, have a few facts. Fact number one. There's no vice squad in Ryan. Fact two. Most houses and saunas work on a public entertainment license. This means they're subject to an annual health and safety check. Just like this theatre. And while they're at it, they check for any nasties. Underage girls, coercion, drugs, gambling, illegal porn. That kind of thing. Just like this theatre. <laughs> Fact three. If they want to close a place, all it takes is a noise complaint or a blocked gutter, and they can do an emergency closure and take the licence away. Bam. Just like that. No proof of profits from prostitution needed. Fact number four. Some of the bigger places have the police on the payroll. Just to be on the safe side. Is that a fact? <laughs> the licence inspection. Now we should empty the bins in the cabins. I don't want to see any compounds anywhere. I'm going to need to switch all the TVs over for one channel. I'll do it. Come on, Cartoon Network? Is it anything? <laughs> Where the hell was it? <laughs> Behind the curtains. Oh, what else are doing in there? I don't want to think about it. There's a client in the sun just now, a glass station guy. Me and Barbara bring up to the lounge ASAP. If you get shirty, give him a glass of wine on the house. Ooh. Shut it. About time. Hey, hey. Hello, Pink. Ah, me, yeah, there's not a rude bone in my body. 
<laughs> well, not yet, at least. <laughs> no, it's just a wee story that shows the difference between northerners and southerners. <laughs> you see, this man gets on a London bus and he sits next to this woman. Well, a conductor comes along and then the man drops a five-pound note on the floor. Well, the woman picks it up and she claims that it's hers. So they argue about it until it's his stop to get off. But she refuses to give it him back. So he picks up a parcel that she has. She is furious, but he gets off the bus. <laughs> is that it? All right. It's a crap joke. All right, I know. Proof positive. You southerners are just too fucking polite. <laughs> oh, no, it's still a crap joke. Yeah, I am. <coughs> I see. So the bigger picture is we have a friend in the council. Hold the front page. Oh, the picture gets bigger than that. Does it? And the nurse says, have you got any final requests? And the third patient says, yes, can I have first use of the scrubbing brush next time? Uh, <laughs> 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 well, that's what I told you to entertain him. <laughs> oh, man, you were booking. VIP. No massage for you then, eh? Ah, well, next time, eh? And Diva, dear. Yes, Diva, dear. Your biggest fan will be here in 15 minutes. <gasps> John? Oh, no. Excuse me, sorry. Yeah, what's going on here? Sorry, love. <coughs> we just had our license inspection. Now there's a bit of a back. <laughs> <laughs> It's for good, pal. Oh, this one's passed it somewhere anyway. Oi, oh, Chippy. <laughs> this is the boss. Ah, how are you going, Jasmine? That's Yasmin with a Y. Fine, thank you very much, old Tony. How are you? Hey, you tell him then. Hey, hey boss, can I borrow this one for a bit? A bit of a what? A bit of a massage. Be my guest, then. Right, come along then, bullshit. Oi, who 
Who are you calling bullshit?
Jasmin. Jasmin. Why did this always happen to me? Never anyone else. What do I do? You're all right, we did. No, no damage. I hate this. Ted. So leave it. It's Zoe. And Jules, she spends. Oh. Yeah, oh. The woman I care about most in the whole world is addicted to smack. And methadone and tamazepam and all the other shit that goes along with it. Oh. What the fuck am I meant to do about that then? Jesus, did you? Yeah, she put you under. I can't. the moment you've all been waiting for. The sex scene. First, over to Diva. You can call me Oscar. That's not my real name, but then yours isn't Irma. No. So I'm not going to call you that. Tell me your real name. 
I'll tell you mine if you tell me yours. No, no, we can't have that. Either tell me your real name and go. Truth is my particular fetish. I pay well, the management like me. I'll give you a moment to decide. As a VIP, you have a choice of videos. There's a list of titles on the table. Read them to me. <clears throat> Blue Chew, Glamour Sex. The Sex Box, International Models. Hot Shot. Two girl action. Hot and dangerous. Group action. Girls and toys. A masturbation fantasy. Bad girls. Two girl spanking action. Anything appeal? It's all fairly conventional, I'm afraid. I never work with children or animals. They shock you. No. Most of them are pretty funny. I don't find them sexy. Do you? So? You find the degradation of women funny? No. But most of them are fairly degraded to men too. And that you do find funny. Which makes you as bad as me. I can see I'm going to have to be careful. I'm not usually hired for my conversation. There you are. Making generalizations about men again. No. You'd prefer that we didn't speak to you. No, I like it. But, well, you are an exception. I've not been required to make speeches on female emancipation before, although I'd only be too happy to start, believe me. As long as the price was right. Tell me your name. Jules. <laughs> Stop. I know her. I can do whatever I like within these walls. Have you shout? No one's going to come and save you. Exactly what I say. But if you choose to trust me, I won't hurt you. Now, tell me your name. You don't trust me. You have to earn people's trust. Let me go. Are you frightened of me? No. Are you attracted to me? No. You're too cruel. Cruel? You're playing games. I don't like it. You'll be paid extra for it. No, I don't do that. I'll get one of the other women to come to you. Think you quit. Is it worth saying? Think you quit. Please. Trust me. You're a university student, can't you? What are you reading? Who's your favourite author? I don't have one. Who's yours? Desaad. Hmm. A literature student, then. If you like. What would you like? When you grow up, what would you like to become? Well, as this has probably blown my political career, I'll have to be an artist or a writer. I don't know. I want to be renowned. Remember. You have a fine body. But I don't enjoy nudity. Take off your underwear. And your shoes. 
You can be as clever as you like. But you have to remember that I am paying you and you have to do what I tell you. I don't have to do anything I don't want to. Uh -huh. Do you think that's wrong with me? Help yourself in your smoke, Emma. Oh. Do this 
tells me that uh, you would not be working here long. It's about three months. Ah. Do you find it difficult? I mean, emotionally. Not one. I'm sorry, no, you're going to have to speak up. The water. I... Not while I'm with a client, no. What about later, in reality? I don't think about it. Why do you do this job? I need the money. Oh, I see. <laughs> Pressures of association and economics. Oh, what? <laughs> is, is that the only reason? Yes. I don't think it's such a big deal. I'm not highly moral, I'm not religious. It's really no worse than sleeping with somebody you don't love. And half the married population does that. Yes, but uh, half the married population isn't being promis is promiscuous, and that's why I'm missing the point. And uh, presumably outside of it, you sleep with people for pleasure, not gain. I usually intend to. <sighs> Oh, it annoys me that sex is such a big deal. It's only a bodily function. Why does it need such big taboos all over it? It's far more harm than good. Hmm. Do you ever get turned on in class? No. I don't allow myself to enjoy sex here. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Then you have as many taboos as anybody else? It's not that, it just feels unprofessional somehow. Uh, I think allowing yourself to enjoy sex here would threaten your idea of yourself as a victim. I think you live by that idea. I did enjoy sex with the cats. Really? With whom? A professional rugby player. What happened? I paid by check. I never cashed it. Oh. Well, you see, that proves my point. You're not desperate. For some reason, you've chosen to be here. You need to do this. I wonder if you know why. <coughs> I think you're going to tell me. No, you're going to tell me. You must have thought, thought about it. I mean, to test yourself somehow? No. To prove something. So, you feel valued because people are prepared to pay for the privilege of fucking you. Yes. Well, but they're not paying for you, are they? They're paying for your availability, not who you really are. Mm -hmm. And fifty pounds? Is that a lot of money to you? No. So, what you're proving is you're not worth very much. How does that make you feel? Large animals is my field. My partner handles the domestics. 
supposed to be dangerous. Pardon? Dangerous. Oh, no, no, not if you're careful. Point you, did break a couple of bones in my foot once when a horse stood on it. Bloody stupid thing to happen. No, no, worst in injury I ever had was from a whole cow's tail. Tail? Ah, a cow's tail covered in dung and mud is quite heavy. Got me right in the eye. Gross. Anyway, that's two years now. Still not right. Anyway, learn my lesson. Always tie the cow's tail to its hind leg. <laughs> oh, hello. You must be Irma. Are well, you free now, then? Uh, do you mind if I just get a glass of water? I've got a bit of a headache. Pardon? Headache. Oh dear, heard that line before. <laughs> <laughs> Fun, remember? Would you like a cup of tea? 
pressures of the socio-economic climate. Was he gross? But they don't pay for you today. Did he say something then? What? They pay for your availability. It's just one guy, Emma. Don't chuck in your job over one guy. It's not just one guy. That's the whole point. Fee's right. This is a bit summer. Don't, Dee. Will you come back? Same money again, if you stay. Look, where else can you earn this kind of money part-time? Is that a lot of money to you? Irma, um, uh, this work can make you very strong. So what you're proving? But it can really screw up your head. Is you're not worth it? It leaves scars. You say, but I'm screwed in the head. No, Irma. Um, uh, you no. have a choice. Just don't come in on a crisis, go out on a crisis, piss everyone off. You end up nowhere. It really fucks your head. Dee, I'm going. Good for you. We'll be all right, you and me. Life's got more in store for us. I'm going to be a singer. And you're going to choose. Go. Goodbye, Emma. She'll be back. Don't bet on it. Not for a while, and not here, but she'll be back. She's taking her time. She's out the fire exit. But her shift money's still in the cash box. She was wearing a grand's worth of Rolex. She's out the fire exit. I bet my life on it. Jeez. Talk about a dark horse. I'm going to put some machine on. Shut early. You've already done that, mate. Tonight, I've had enough too. There. Tomorrow's another day. Let's sort out that kitchen. I'll wash. You dry. <laughs> So that's it, what I did in my summer holidays. I did it, got through it, and got out. Shall I know until the fat lady sings? I've finished. Go away, Janine. Not quite. There's one last story to tell. The last time? No, I'm not telling that. Was it so terrible? No. I can't remember it. Good. You're learning. But I meant the reporter's story. Yes, that little piece of fiction. Are you going to tell it or should I? You met in the bar at the end of the day. This afternoon, we were early, already there. We were the only ones in the bar. The reporter was younger than I hoped. Designer jeans and a palm top. Freelance, he did the old up down no eye contact look. And the older one, the cameraman, didn't look at me at all except through the camera. What did the reporter ask you? He was very polite. Didn't dig for scandal, didn't ask me my name. They filmed me in silhouette against the window overlooking the sea. They focused on the raindrops as they bled down the windows like tears. Very artistic. What did he ask you? I knew exactly what he wanted me to say. So I told him a few stories. None of them you were in. Gave him a few facts. 
facts, none of them accurate. Told it all rather well, I thought. You collected your hundred pounds, and he asked you, how do you feel? Didn't he? And you said? Fine. fine. I, I feel, feel fine. fine. And how do you feel? Janine, my head is full of stuff, things people have said or done. And now, how do you feel? Divided. Part of me says, so, I was a prostitute, soul sex, what's the big deal? It's only moral morality and a religion I don't trust that tells me it's wrong. The now this book, simply a case of supply and demand, puts you in control. Gives you time and money to live your life, and time and money give you freedom. <coughs> what the other part says? I feel worthless. Now money doesn't mean anything. Nor does sex anymore. You've taken them all. The bullies, the weirdos, the fuck ups, the scum. You swallow their pain, their loneliness. Mm -hmm. And at first it feels like comfort, success. But it tastes like anger at the back of your throat. Mm -hmm. It tastes of anger and knives. Anger that won't go away. You were angry to begin with, Anna. And now when I see my body naked, I see it full and lit, framed in cheap satin. I'm not my show. Pale, weary body of some nameless, faceless man. He is the everyman of my nightmares. He holds my eye in the mirror. And he knows what I'm worth. Is that true, Mama? Is that really the sum of what you are? Not anymore. It's over, Irma. We've finished it. Now over to the fat lady. So don't wake me up again. Don't let me feel anything, but when you go, let me dream that I go with you, cause I can't take it right.